These are our Athletes of the Week, and it's presented by Diamond Point and Sox Center here on Mid-Minnesota Sports. This is Julie Bouchard and Allie Peterson, our Athletes of the Week. Well, let's uh, first of all start out. Tell us about your family, okay? Um, I have my mom, Sue, my dad, Steve, and my older brother, Grant. And I have my mom, Jeannie, my dad, Mike, my older brother, Darren, and my younger sister, Sarah. Okay. What other uh, activities are you involved in? I'm in swimming in the fall and track in the spring, and I'm also involved in student council. Okay. Um, and I play volleyball in the fall and then basketball in the winter. Mm -hmm. I, I, I thought I would ask this in a different way, that uh, maybe you could describe uh, your teammate here. Talk about her game, what she brings to the uh, team, and we're talking about basketball here to start. It. Is that okay? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Um, Julie's been like a huge asset for us this year, being one of our few left-handed people on the team, and um, especially in the postseason here, she's gotten, she's been really key, and I know that teams are looking at her for one of our big offensive and defensive threats, so she's been really good for us this year. Mm -hmm. uh, Allie is a great all-around player. She, uh, when we really need her, she'll shoot the ball, she'll, she can shoot her threes, and she can drive when we also need her, so she's also key in our free throws. Mm -hmm. You know, there are four seniors on the team. Uh, can you talk about the other two, too? Uh, yeah, um, Aliyah Gerhardt's one of our starters, too. Um, she's an all-around good player, too. She can knock down the key shots when she needs to, and one of her biggest focuses is usually guarding the team's best player, so she puts a lot on the defensive floor for us, too. Mm -hmm. All right, anything to add? Uh, Amanda, we are also one of our starters. She is our key post player. She usually guards their best post player, and she really can handle them well. You know, as you approach a basketball game through the practices, and sometimes those get called off a lot <laughs> this past season, how do you prepare for a game uh, with the coaches, yourselves, and, and how does that all work? Uh, well, usually a day before the game, the coach will have us run through stuff that we need to prepare for, for like each individual girl who's guarding what, so we know what to prepare for and expect. Mm -hmm. How do you get ready? Um, yeah, same thing. Mr. Bergman and Mr. Peschel and Coach West, they work really hard for matchups and knowing what we have to do defensively. I mean, so they're a huge part in how we play and how we get ready for the other teams. And to go along with that, too, how much do you work out? I guess I'm looking more towards the summer coming up to your swimming season to volleyball than you get into basketball. What kind of a workout does that uh, all entail? Um, starting in the summer, we usually the first week off of school, we Bergman has his basketball camp and we all that all of us attend and then there's also an Alec league that we go to every Monday night so we can get like actual five on five playing time and also we also do workouts and stuff on our own too. How many shots do you take in the summer? Uh, 10,000. <laughs> um, we do the 10,000 shot club which is really a really good program for us I mean it helps us a lot getting better shooting so we put up a lot of shots in the summer to get better for the winter. Now what is it uh, 10,000 makes? Yep, land of yeah. 10,000 makes. Okay all right <laughs> great and does that pay off? I think it definitely does I think if you start early enough and you keep getting better every year that it definitely comes into play later. Mm -hmm. I want to bring up lifting weights for girls, okay? I don't know how much you do, if you could describe what you do, and is it good, and, and how much should you be doing? Um, I definitely think lifting weights is a good thing. Um, it usually, usually I, what I do, I usually bench and squat. Girls should do an all-around thing, and they should, like, continue. Like, I know s during some sports, you go in the beginning, and then once it gets closer to the end, you back off. They should, you should definitely, it should be a routine and it helps a lot. How much does it help in swimming? Because I know you have to stay loose, you can't get too bulky and all that. Uh, how, do, how does it work with swimming? Um, we do it in the mornings every other day, and we, he has a, Mr. Schreiner has a program set up, so it helps with our practices in the pools. It helps a lot, and we just kind of learn to go with it. And how do you think it works for basketball then? Um, definitely in the summertime is when I put in the most like work in the weight room. Um, we do after morning shoot arounds. We go to the weight room usually for 45 minutes to an hour, and that it definitely helps. It definitely makes a improvement that you can tell. Getting back to basketball here too, that uh, through the years you've had uh, some pretty good players in front of you, and maybe last year you didn't get to play a lot of varsity basketball. Coming into this season, how did you approach the year? What did you girls talk about, and and how did it look for you? 
Um, I think we kind of came out with a something to prove mentality because we had a, a lot of people before us that were great athletes and I think a lot of people were kind of skeptical of what we could do and we've really done a good job I think so far of coming out this year and proving that we have what it takes. Yeah, definitely what she said. There's a lot of people that ahead of us that we've had to, that we've looked up to and now it's our time to show what we can do and it's definitely helped a lot. Can you kind of summarize it for us then to uh, describe your volleyball season, your swimming, you went to the state meet, and uh, just the overall attitude here at the school and how fun it's been? Um, playing sports here is great. There's always great coaches. It's a great environment. Um, volleyball, we went, got to St. Ben's at the section final, and we lost to Dallas Cocado, and those were fun games, and it was a really good season, and that kind of trickled over into basketball so far. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, swimming, yeah, I made it down to the state meet, and we my relay ended up placing eighth and that was my first time actually swimming down at state so it definitely was a major accomplishment and I hope that next year the girls can do the same thing. Mm -hmm. All right. So what does the future bring for you guys? Um, I am attending Moorhead State next year for I'm not really decided in my degree but I'll be there for four more years. Okay. And I will be down in St. Peter at Gustavus Adolphus and I will be uh, support I'm wanting to do a major in accounting. Okay. And to follow up with that, how did you decide to, to go where you're going? Um, my brother also goes there, and I've been there quite a bit. And I really like the campus, and it's just a good good area for me. So, okay. uh, My brother's friend, Sam, he uh, told me to go down there and look at it, and I liked it when he brought me down and showed me around. Because where is your brother? Bethel. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yep. well, okay. And you didn't go, want to go there? Uh -uh. They didn't have a swim team. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, good enough. Well, let me uh, also summarize it by saying that uh, it's been fun watching you play volleyball, swimming, and now the basketball season. I guess what I like is uh, you guys give great effort, as everybody does, and you play hard, and I think uh, the fans appreciate that. So congratulations on what you've done, okay? You. All right, and good luck to you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. That's Allie Peterson, Julie Bouchard. They are the Athletes of the Week, presented by Diamond Point and Sock Center here on Mid-Minnesota Sports.